so first things first we're I created a geometry and called it camera path you know you can call it whatever so if you jump into the geometry we basically we just have a line right uh, a curve and this I just drew by just putting down a curve you can just place it here and then if you select enter you can draw whatever you want right so it could be something like that then you hit enter and then you've got your curve right so first when you when you draw a curve like that um i transformed it and just resized it but you don't have to do that but i like to keep my pivot in the center and then i converted it into an earth curve so that it can be smooth and the camera can move on something smooth okay and then i created an all for out of my camera curve then we're gonna come into our um back here and we're gonna put down an all and we're gonna double click and come into the null and inside inside of here i created a chop network inside of chops you have to you can delete whatever is in here and put down a get world space okay um and inside of get world space you don't have to change anything what you have to put down is a follow path okay so inside of our follow path we wanna um create the like add the position but i'll show you guys this in a second first off let's just select our camera path which is the one that we created on a camera path in our null here and then that's gonna select that's gonna um you know reference our camera then we want to make sure that we're looking through a long path the we're using look up vector up vector mode and up vector i just placed it at one here okay so nothing crazy yet actually there's nothing crazy about this at all <laughs> okay so let me show you when you put on an all right you wanna you wanna come here and select edit parameters and we're gonna just select a float vector so inside of our float uh, I'll show you what parameters we're gonna be changing let me just delete this one and show you the one that we've got here already set up so I'm just gonna edit edit parameter interface and you can see that I have a, a float that I added just the way that I showed you guys in a second so this is my position I labeled it as position or whatever you want to call it it's a float vector and we have a range from 0 to 10 okay and then you want to hit apply and accept what this does is that it creates this null this this parameter here that you can tweak and that parameter here is the parameter that we are selecting here so if you select um you can see that i'm referencing in here so if, say i delete this channel um and then we do right click and uh, copy parameter let's do it the, the opposite way delete channel copy parameter come in here paste relative reference and that's that's what it is so that way we can control this from outside okay so once we control this from outside you can see that this null which is visualized in yellow will follow the path as soon as I animate this so I'm just gonna say starts at zero and it moves into 50 and I'm gonna give it so a 10 would be it re reaches the actually not a 10 it's probably a 1 that reaches the other side of a curve and there we go so we've got a null that follows a curve right now what we want to do is place a camera underneath so that it follows it and make sure that we change this parameters right here so if you select the camera and then you place it here you're gonna see that it's gonna follow that immediately so if we come here into a full camera full camera and we play you're gonna see we're following that path right come out here um, just reset this real quick um, if we make it visual 
then you can see that we're following the path and then if you want to have a, a bit of additional control over it then you can add an extra null with a rotation that I have right here um, so if you place this null right here this null is also centered let me place it here it's also centered because I placed it when we were at the beginning everything's centered so this null is following our null as well here and then it's gonna control the rotation of our camera so if we delete this we rotate this you can see that we can create some really really art directable animation following the curve path and then also rotating our camera like that okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and upload this file and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave a comment thank you guys very much for watching